hey there so we are back with another video i am thankful if you have clicked on it and so we're gonna get right into the look um all of these products that i'm using in this video will be the same as the previous video there may be a couple new ones that i will mention but other than that everything is legit the same from my previous video so if there are any new products i'll list them in the description box below and so I am proud of myself because this is video number two. And so um, this one, I am doing my routine differently. And this isn't anything new for me. I'm always switching up my routine. Sometimes I'll do my brows first, then my foundation, face, and then eyes. Um, sometimes I'll do eyes first, then foundation, then brows. So it's always changing, however, it all comes together so as long as you prep your skin do your skincare routine first prime do whatever you want do whatever comes natural to you so if doing your brows first comes natural do that if doing your face comes natural to you do that there is no right or wrong way of how to start and apply your makeup just one do your skincare routine to do whatever you want and so um yeah, in this one, I am starting off with my brows. And I can say that I've gotten better with editing these videos. Um, I did this one a lot quicker than that last one, and I learned how to speed up the clips. And so I'm getting better, guys. Um, just have patience with me in this new season, you know, this new thing of creating a YouTube channel and posting videos. Um, I actually wrote out notes in for this video so that I can pay attention and like figure out what I actually want to say and even though I have the notes right here I'm still a little nervous of doing this voiceover but we're going to get through it we're facing our fears we're actually doing it and so that's all that really matters is that you are actually doing it and I'll get better at it just keep practicing and so I'm using the same concealer same brush same technique of using my ring finger to blend it out um, in my first video, I did realize that I pointed out a lot of my flaws that people probably don't even notice when they're watching. Um, so that's one thing that I definitely have to work on and be more mindful of. But you know, I'm not the only one that struggles with that. Um, we are our biggest critics, so anytime you're doing something that you care about, that you're passionate about, you just want to give your best. And so... A lot of the times you get caught up in looking at the things that you could do better or that could be different. But um, either way, I am proud of myself for just doing it. So this video, I'm not going to talk about these flaws, even though I'm sitting here looking at the ash like, there we go again. But um, that's the only time. I can say, though, um, we're going to talk about the positives. My skin is clearing up a lot. And so I am proud of that. Um, this year, my skin has been crazy. Like, this has probably been some of the worst breakouts that I've had in a while. Like, growing up, of course, when you hit puberty, you realize what type of skin you have. And I've always had, I've always had that acne prone skin. But this year, honey, it came in full force. Like, breakout after breakout. However... And I just said that I wasn't going to talk about my flaws. However, I have been consistent in my skincare routine and just trying to find the best products and what works best with my skin. And it is getting better. Even watching this video right now, I recorded this in April. It's now June and my skin is better than what it is in this video now. And so um, I'm just going to continue with my routine, continue to find better products and see which what works best and so um maybe i'll put out a video talking about my skin and which products that i like and which products worked and which didn't and so um in this video you can see that i actually remembered to color correct yes i did i still use the same la girls um color corrector and so this day i was doing a photo shoot and um i was kind of going for a light base foundation look and so I went in with the NARS, um, what's it called? 
and then I feel like the people that record their videos and don't have the products in front of them I'm sorry y'all I'm not at home where all my products are and one of my goals is to get another video up by the end of June and I won't be back home until like after the end of June so long story short I don't have it in front of me so I'm gonna google it eventually but it's the NARS tinted moisturizer that's what it is and so I put that on first and I liked the coverage of it but you can still see some of my discoloration and a little bit of my texture so I was like I need just a little bit more coverage for these photos and so I went in with studio fix fluid on top and that was magic like I didn't even mean for it to look that good but baby I will be doing that a lot more often a lot more often why did that sound so weird okay anywho I'm setting my brows after I put on my concealer and as you can see in this video like I said it's like half the amount of concealer that I used before and I didn't do the fade out but it still blended out like beautifully and it just all melted together and I actually really loved how this look turned out the only thing I wish I did was put on some lashes but I was already late <laughs> I was late and the photo shoot was at my house right <laughs> but um yeah that's the only thing that was missing from this look like it was I shocked myself with this one and so I'm just blending that concealer out that's still the um ColourPop no filter concealer same concealer same bronzer same everything and so um like I was saying my skin is getting better. I'm checking my notes to make sure I'm covering everything. This video is shorter than the last one, so I gotta make sure that I get it all in these 13 minutes and 21 seconds. So, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, I recorded this one in April, and so much has happened since then. Like, I was already over this pandemic, and... The anxiety was starting to get a little heavier and just n not being able to go out, not being able to hang out with my friends. You know, just everything that everybody has been feeling about being quarantined. And so on top of that, here goes the Black Lives Matter movement. And I've been black my whole life, of course, but it's like this moment it hurt so much like everybody felt it just on another level this time and so that that had a huge effect on my mental just like a lot of black people in this world at this moment and so um yeah i did not every time i would say i'm gonna do my makeup so i can feel better so i can get out of this mood it just never happened and so i honestly haven't done my makeup since april and with my birthday around the corner, literally this Friday, June 26th, I'm like, okay, do it for your birthday. And so I'm praying that, well, I am going to do it, but it's just been a lot. And it's just like, God, what is going on? Like, it's a pandemic. All types of things are going on. And then on top of this, black people are still suffering from social injustices. And it's just... You feel like all you can do is pray, but at the same time, you want to do more. And so you're out there signing petitions and giving to this one. And then sometimes it's like, am I signing the right petition? Is this person doing the right thing? And so you kind of just get caught in this whirlwind of everything going on in life. And so I've just had to take time to myself, you know, step back from social media at times and then get back on to see any new updates or anything and it's a lot and so I'm trying to figure out how I fit into all of this what's my role in all of this because it can easily be taken as oh I don't have a voice and that's not true you can find some way to participate and be there and so I've taken the time to do that I've taken the time to study my history a lot more and just really get to God and figure out what it is my purpose as being a black woman and before this movement that's one of the things that I've struggled with a lot and it's just like God you created me a woman you created me to be a black woman 
what is it that I'm supposed to do? And some people, they don't think about their purpose as that. They don't identify their purpose being tied to their race or their sex. But being a black woman is just a total different game field. And it's like, that's part of my identity, being black and being a woman. And so that's one of the things that I definitely... I wouldn't say struggled with, but I've been more concerned about and I wanted to know more about. And that's part of getting into that relationship with God and understanding who he created you to be and why he created you and why he placed you where he placed you with the family that family, (laughs) but the family that he chose for you, the people that he's chosen to bring into your life, like all of that stuff matters. I really thought I would have made it throughout this entire video without tripping on my words, but it's okay. We're getting better. And so, but like I was saying, it is important that you get to know every aspect of who God created you to be and knowing what your purpose is in this life, in this moment, understanding that so clearly that whenever anything may try to come up against you, you will know. God has sent me here. I'm supposed to be here. So we're going to get back to the makeup. And so you guys seen me put the whole look together at this point. Um, I just added some blush and that's MAC Raisin Blush. And if that's a Maybelline highlighter today, this day I did wear a highlighter because of photo shoot purposes and because my skin was looking better. And so I'm going to line my lips and put on a lip gloss. And all of that stuff will be in the description box below, like I said. Um, my hoodie, which you guys will see soon, says Jesus in Therapy. And without those two things, I don't know where I would be right now, legit. And I really encourage everyone to go see a therapist at some point in your life. And it's not to say that anything is wrong with you, but based off everything that we've seen in the world in the past two months we all could use an outlet that's not somebody that we know and so that's all going to therapy is it's like having a legal best friend to where you can tell everything to without worrying about judgment or it getting back around to somebody that you don't even know like you know that whatever you share with your therapist it's a safe space and so if therapists if the word therapist freaks you out just think of it as a legal best friend and so um, here are the pictures from the photo shoot um the photographer that i work with she is amazing she is a black woman and so i list all of her info down below and i really hope you guys made it through this whole video if you did thank you so much for watching I will be back with another one and I'll be talking about my experience with therapy. And so that's it. Love God, love yourself, and let's make this world a better place, y'all. See ya.